Hey guys, I'm here with Jessica Titko from Net Gold, one of the phenomenal recruiter out in the Texas area, and we're going to talk some recruiting and answer some questions today. So, Jessica, Hi, tell, <laughs> Jessica, tell me, how did you get in this whole recruiting space in the first place? So, after I graduated college, I had a family friend who was working for a company called Merritt Hawkins, mm -hmm. and they did physician recruiting. They are a headhunting company for doctors. Um, and I really, I fell into recruiting. I talked to him on the phone. He told me about the position. I found it, it sounded really interesting. So, I interviewed and I got the, the job the same day. They called me back a couple hours and I was like, okay, I guess this is what I'm meant to do. And <laughs> I fell in love with it since, um, or I fell in love with it back then. That was in 2013, mm. and I've been in recruiting ever since. Awesome, awesome. Hey, what are some things that you know now that now you've been in the business for so long? What are some things that you know now that you wish you could have told your former self when you were just getting into it? Ooh, um, I would say if I could tell myself now – um, keep going. I think that's one of the biggest things because recruiting can be very mundane. Um, you deal with a lot of different personalities. I think I'd also tell myself not to take things so personally. Um, you know, you come across clients and candidates who sometimes they're just having a bad day and you as the recruiter are an easy person to take it out on. Um, so I, I think those would probably be two of the biggest things I would tell myself. Awesome. Awesome. Now, I know you guys, um, you guys do an excellent job at net gold with Brandon and really putting yourself out there. I, you know, I see a lot of, I talk to a lot of recruiting companies on a monthly basis and, um, a lot of them just aren't doing it. And I know it's kind of like a secret weapon for you guys, but you know, tell me why do you, why are you guys so invested in building your brand? So I think brand is what makes us different than everybody else just because one, we're still so small. Um, so our reputation is everything. Our reputation's on the line every day. So every follow up, every email, every call, um, the time that we respond, I think says a lot and it's what separates us. Um, you know, some of our clients that we have, they really enjoy working with us more than other larger recruiting firms because they can call, they can text any all hours of the day. And, you know, we always pick up our phone. So I would say that's been one thing for us in branding that we've really pride. We pride ourselves on is our response time and, you know, we're available all hours of the day. Love it. So you're using the fact that you're a boutique company and that's an advantage for you because you just offer different levels of customer service than the bigger companies are willing to do it. Absolutely. And, you know, Tiffany and I, we both kind of have that same vision to really stay almost a boutique style firm. I, we don't want, you know, 3000 recruiters and obviously we want to grow um, and we plan to grow, but I think keeping, you know, it tight knit and a very um, solid team, I would say quality over quantity is, mm -hmm. is definitely very important to us. Awesome. And I know just because of the nature of, of what you do, you're talking to hundreds, if not thousands of candidates on a yearly basis. Um, what would you say to anyone watching this right now that's looking to maybe advance in their career or to get their dream job? <laughs> um, ooh, good question. I would tell them one online LinkedIn, go get a LinkedIn if you don't have one because recruiters love LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. Um, and I would say, take a chance. I, I feel like people just get so hung up on qualifications that they won't apply for certain jobs. They're worried about getting rejected. And I think that the industry is evolving. It's not all about qualifications. Um, you know, it's culture, it's personality. Anything you can do to make yourself stand out is going to go a long way, you know, Find that recruiting manager on LinkedIn. Tell them you're interested. And, you know, stalk them if you have to because people, candidates like that stick out to me and it shows perseverance. It shows that they're truly interested and, you know, they know how to go after what they want. Love it. You know, an interesting stat I saw was, like, typically, I'm going to get this wrong, but I'm just going to throw it out there anyway. Like, typically, um, most men, they just need to feel 60% confident or qualified to go and, get a, to go and um, apply for a job. Whereas women, it's more like 90%. And 
Oh. Yeah. So if anyone's I watching, believe that. You, you miss what did Wayne, what did uh, Wayne, who was it? Some famous sports athletes was like, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. I think it was Wayne Gretzky. Wayne Gretzky, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, it's true. So I, because, you know, there, there's positions where, <clears throat> sure, there's certain qualifications that some people may have, but I also have had those clients who take a chance on somebody because me as the recruiter, I go to bat for them. Mm. So I think having a recruiter who, you know, knows you and, spends the time to understand what you're looking for and what's important to you in your job search. And that person can go to bat to the client and say, you know, this person might not have X, Y, and Z, but they have this. Um, mm -hmm. I think that's really important. Mm -hmm. Potential and, um, and just their, their personality and their dedication to the job. I mean, we're all human. We can all learn. So just having that, that motivation and that mindset is so huge. Um, let's flip it. I agree. If any hiring managers are watching this right now, what are some tips and advice <laughs> to them um, if they're look, actually looking to hire some roles? Um, I would say if you're actively looking to hire some roles, hire net goals. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make your lives a lot easier. Um, recruiting is a very time-consuming thing. There's a lot of candidates you have to vet through to get that right one, and um, you know, we spend extensive time with our candidates, like I mentioned, really understanding what they're doing and what they want out of their next, their next position. So we set the expectation up front. Um, you know, for those hiring managers who are looking for candidates, I'd kind of say the same thing, you know, be willing to take a chance on somebody because sometimes they can end up being your best employees. Love it. Okay, so if anyone is looking to get a hold of Jessica and to utilize Net Goal Services, how can they contact you? Where can they reach you? Um, so I'm on LinkedIn. My my name's Jessica Tico, and then our website www.netgoldllc.com. Um, we actually have a form submission on there where you can contact us, um, fill out a form, and it'll go straight to our email, and we'll reach out to you guys. Awesome. Jessica, thank you so much for your time. It was great having you on here, and we'll have you back again. Sounds good. Thank you, Cash. Awesome.